Hey, what's up everybody? It's Paramount Cyclops. Good evening, good morning, good night, whatever it is, wherever you are, welcome to my channel. I do have Jesse Smollett's police report. We're going to read that together here in just a minute. I will attempt at least to leave a description, uh, or in the description down below, a link to the police report. But before we get into it, I do want to thank all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. You guys make this definitely worthwhile. Uh, I am shooting for 100 subscribers. When I make 100 subscribers, I want to do something super special for you guys. Uh, any ideas, I'm definitely open to anything. Leave some suggestions in the comments below what you'd like to see for a 100 subscriber special. Maybe you'd like to see me do something, uh, film a certain thing, speak about something. Let me know. Uh, I enjoy talking to you guys. You guys definitely make this worthwhile. So, the police report. Uh, it is the Chicago uh, police report. The victim is, of course, Jussie Smollett, male, black, six foot, 170 pounds, brown eyes, brown hair, short hairstyle, light brown complexion, 36 years of age, born in 1982. And again, I will leave the description to this, uh, uh, a link to the, in the description down below to this uh, police report. Now, the person reporting the offense, this is important. Jesse Smollett did not report the incident. In fact, he didn't want to report the incident. Which brings to mind the idea that he really didn't want this to get this big. He was looking for a small group of uh, people to get attention from or to hide whatever happened, what really happened. Because he didn't want to report it. His manager kind of pressured him into it a little bit. So the reporting person is his manager, born in 1958, 60 years old, male, black, six foot one, 200 pounds, brown eyes, black hair, short hairstyle, medium complexion. Uh, everything else is pretty much just saying that they don't know who the suspects are. Now, here's the uh, meat and potatoes. Here is the officer's wording of their initial contact. Event number 00959, BWC. I don't know what BWC means, but if anybody knows what BWC in, in cop speak means, let me know in the comments below. BWC incident. Until victim requested, BWC be deactivated. Responding officers responded to battery report at above listed location. Now the location is 341 East Lower North Water Street. I know I have some people in Chicago. I've spoken to you. I got some, some watchers in Chicago. Uh, boots on the ground. What is that area like? I know everybody says it's a, an affluent neighborhood, but I, I want your opinion. What is this neighborhood is it a good neighborhood? Is it bungalows? Is it condos? What's? Give me your idea of what the neighborhood is, just just so we can kind of get a general idea of the feel of that that hood. All right. So back to the police wording at above list location. Uh, Jesse's manager is the person reporting the offense, and Jesse met responding officers in lobby of building and escorted responding officers to unit of victim. He related, this would be Jussie's man manager, to responding officers that victim did not want to report the offense. However, he, Jussie's manager, believed it to be in the best interest. Responding officers arrived at apartment unit of victim to find him with white rope draped around his neck and stained clothing. Both those have been inventoried. Victim related to responding officers that as he was walking to his residence, two unknown males approached him and gained his attention by saying verbatim, Empire blank blank. I'm assuming that's going to be the homophobic uh, slur. It's blacked out, redacted, as they say. Victim related that he is an actor on the TV show Empire, and responding officers know those terms said to him to be racial and homophobic slurs. The primary aggressor was wearing a black mask, concealing any facial features, and both offenders were dressed in black, proceeding to batter the victim about the face with their hands and pouring an unknown chemical substance on him, staining his clothing. Okay, staining his clothing or bleaching his clothing? Did it stain or did it bleach? Because, I mean, you'll know, you know the difference right away, stain and bleach. I mean, everybody does. The victim does not remember any other distinguishing features of the offenders or in which direction they fled. Victim related that on the 22nd of January 2019, he received hate mail at his place of work. 
Victim showed responding officers where the incident occurred. He showed them, so he must have taken them to the spot and said, this, this is where it happened, huh? Okay. Assisting unit, uh, assisting unit B, 1824R, canvassed the area for offenders and cameras in the vicinity of the crime. Cameras located at 300 East Lower North Water Street in parking lot and at 301 East Lower North Water Street on adjacent building city pod cameras in vicinity whatever the number is and whatever the number is. It just says 6870 and 6879. It's going to be like their designated uh, vicinity numbers. Victim advised to seek medical attention. Victim taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital by blank. That would be his manager. Attending MD, Dr. Dresden, victim given VIN, OEMC, notified. Everything else is just legal jargon. Now, isn't this interesting? Didn't Jussie just say on his ple- uh, his speech that at his concert that he went immediately to the hospital, but according to this, the cops were there. A violent crime wasn't notified until 4.30 in the morning. At 4.20 is when the doctor was notified about this. Does it tell us what time the incident happened? 2 o'clock. So 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So 2 hours. Okay, and it says here that the officers advised him to go to the hospital. He didn't go to the hospital first off, right off the bat. There's the police report. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm not going to add anything into it other than what I already have. You guys are smart. Uh, You guys are a lot smarter than those people watching the mainstream media. I'll tell you what. The changing tides of news. I will see you guys on the next one. And remember, I do have other news stories on my channel. I cover a wide variety of, of stories. I'm always uploading. Check them out. It might be something to like. And critique me. If there's something you like or if there's a style you like, let me know. If you don't like seeing my ugly mug, hey, tell me. We can go to the style where I just show you the screen. If you enjoy my ugly mug, hey, my ugly mug's all yours to admire. You guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you on the next one.